Hi guys! Welcome back to another video and today we are going to talk about some tips on how to survive in a call center. So I'm not sure if some of my advices will fit your lifestyle or your work schedule but I'm just gonna go ahead and share them anyway. So here we go. Alright, since most of the time the work schedule in a call center happens on a night shift or graveyard, you have to make sure that you are getting at least 7 hours of sleep every day. Invest in a good bed, you have to time yourself when you're gonna sleep, how many hours you're gonna get, and what time you're gonna wake up. Okay, that's gonna be your key in order for you to survive working graveyard. Next, you have to train yourself not to become very sensitive or emotional because this is a, a very emotionally draining job. Some people or strangers will actually shout at you, uh, curse you, call you names, and even go below the belt. Just don't mind them, okay? Keep calm, be professional, and just stick to the script. Once you learn how to separate your personal life from work and not take anything personally, you're gonna go a long way. Next, you have to learn a lot about the country where your clients are located. Uh, for example, your clients are in the US, Australia, UK, Latin America. You have to know something about their country or what's going on. You're gonna be able to use that as a rapport, small talk. Some customers are actually against outsourcing, if not most of them, so making them believe that you're actually working there, that's gonna be a plus. Okay, next. You have to learn how to match the pace of your customer. If your caller is actually from the city like New York or LA, most of the time they are in a hurry. Show sense of urgency because they would like to get the, the issue resolved as quickly as possible. If the customer is not computer savvy, speak slowly, use uh, basic terms, uh, layman's terms so that they would be able to understand your instructions. Also, learn how to profile your customer. If you're working as a technical support and the customer sounded uh, techy or knowledgeable about the stuff that you guys are talking about, go ahead and uh, skip some steps on the, the script. Go straight to the point and let them know what they need to do because they would appreciate that, that you were actually trusting them. You'll be able to actually save on your AHT and that will help you get more very satisfied surveys. You have to listen carefully to what the customer is saying. Okay? We have two ears, one mouth. Use them properly. Because most of the time, we just uh, let them talk. And while they're talking, we are thinking what we're gonna say next. And that ruins it. Because uh, we're not actually uh, paying attention. So in order for us to really understand what their concern is, just let them talk, let them explain what's going on. And then that's the time that you'll be able to figure out the steps that you're going to do moving forward. Alright, so another important thing. Uh, sometimes we are going to get calls from people who are very upset or they're very mean, racist, or they're just really pissed off with the service of the company. And that's fine. It's normal, okay? We uh, sometimes feel that uh, callers are very emotional, but what you have to do is just to let them vent out, okay? Don't take anything of what they're saying personally, or else it will eat you. If the customer is very hard-headed and doesn't want to participate at all, sometimes what I do, I call them by their name. It seems to help, okay? I'm able to turn around uh, the situation, but it depends. Final advice on how to survive this industry is you have to make sure that you have a work-life balance. During the weekends or during your free time, make sure to do something you're very passionate about. Because if not, it will burn you out. I mean, those are just some of the tips that I can give you guys. If some of you would like to share their own advices, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you learned something today. And by the way, have you subscribed already? If not yet, please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button down there. I would appreciate it and you know how to do it. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. Goodbye!